also you could write a marker. I forgot. <laughs> right! Now jump! Jump! Right! Now jump! Jump! Right! Now jump! Jump! Dang! Get out of my sight before I stuff you in the oven, you dumb goop! Well, we just read that Yuki's are notoriously difficult to train, and also that hoop didn't seem large enough for its big behind. So I don't blame it. I'm here to repair your horses. Hi, Mr. Sirkos. Ah, how do, Miss Walker? When I came in, it looked like you were really angry with that strange, uh, dog thing. Dog? If only it were. That's a Yuki, Miss Walker. You call Eskimos domesticated them. You call makes Yuki. Get it? Mm -hmm. A Yuki? Now, don't be fooled by appearances, ma'am. What might look like a dog ain't necessarily dog. It's a kind of cross seal and bear with a big dose of pig, too, especially the appetite. And you want to teach it a few circus tricks? Believe me, Miss Walker, I have tried. Yes, I have. But strive as he might, civilized man will never squeeze anything resembling <laughs> brains from this bag of swill. The animal just don't want to be tamed. Only thing it thinks of is its belly. Good to know. Mr. Sirkos, I wanted to thank you for your hospitality. Soon we'll be leaving Romansburg. It's a mighty shame, Miss Walker. You're going to miss my mechanical stallions riding up. Shows start as soon as I get those wind-up nags to buck. <laughs> I'll catch it some other time. Actually, I'm here to repair them, so... Yeah. So those horses don't work? I asked Mr. Vorlberg to have a look at them, but then he had that horrible fit like you saw. Fever, delirium, stopped him finishing the job. Maybe you know a thing or two about tinkering, Miss Walker? I do. Well, I'm not Hans Vorlberg, but I can always try. I've fixed many things already. Your wind-up horses have got a problem. There's an important part missing, but I'm going to try to install it if you don't mind, Mr. Sirkos. Ah, you are! You're going to save my life, Miss Walker. All right, I, I'll just get I've got it. to go, Mr. Sirkos. Godspeed, Miss Walker. Let's have a look. How difficult can it be? Right, that made the second horse do something. This one. And the last. Nope. This one, I guess. Thank you. 
damn now what um let's talk to the general manager first point of contact hi dad did you see you stole my train colonel your train miss walker it's gone without you yeah hey, yeah really Hans and Oscar can't have decided to leave without me. Maybe your friend Hans Vorlberg decided it was too dangerous for a pretty lady to go with him. That's impossible. I have to go with him. Right to the island of Siberia. No, oh, really, it just isn't possible. He would have never just left like that. Do you think it would have been okay if I was an ugly lady? <laughs> Someone's hijacked my train, Colonel. I just know it. It's been stolen. That's a very serious matter, Miss Walker. Do you suspect anyone particular? Hmm. Maybe I do. Who could possibly have committed such an outrage? Well, you know, the guys who were referred to as the liars and thieves? What am I going to do now? I must catch up with that train, Colonel. Hans and Oscar are at the mercy of those criminals. Ah, this cursed leg of mine. If I still had an ounce of youth, I'd saddle up my horse and be hounding down those brigands by now. But I've only got one leg and my old horse is dead. <laughs> Colonel, please. There must be some other means of locomotion. I can't think of one. Maybe that old gang car under the track. But I'm afraid it's not been used in years. Colonel, do you think that vehicle's quick enough to catch the train? I have no idea, Miss Walker. The state register describes it as an auxiliary railroad assistance vehicle. Only to be used in cases of extreme emergency. Its maximum and cruising speeds are not recorded. It's a long shot, but it just might work. It's yours, Miss Walker. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. You are a woman of action, Katyuchka. Mm -hmm. And as a good action hero, I completely forgot that I've got a phone. And I can ring Oscar. Hello? This is Oscar, Kate Walker. Oscar, but where on earth are you? Is everything okay? These gentlemen told me you no longer wanted to end our journey here. That you want to return to America. That the train was quite capable of starting. Oh, Kate Walker, I fear I have committed an impardonable error. Is Hans with you? Yes. Ivan and Igor have confined Mr. Forelberg to his chambers. Ivan and Igor? Are you saying they've sent the train rolling again? Mm -hmm. I fear something dishonest is afoot, Kate Walker. <laughs> dishonest? This is a daylight robbery. Those men have bagged the train and kidnapped the both of you. I'm experiencing a sensation of uneasiness, Kate Walker. You've nothing to fear, Oscar. I'm coming to find you. Tell me where the train is headed. Straight ahead. We haven't crossed a single junction. I will hold our speed to a minimum. I believe I can slow them down. Maybe even... Me? No, not at all. I... I was talking to myself. Why, yes, yes, I... Oscar? Oscar? Oh, dear. Right, so that was a good idea. Now let's go see if we can get that auxiliary railroad vehicle working. And check out um, Ivan and Igor's residence. Oh, well, first see if. Because I already know, of course. That's all I needed. This dumb machine's packed it in.
Uh, what could we possibly need to get this hamster wheel style vehicle working? Candy. Surely no child would like fish candy, but who would? Did you see that, Malka? The train left without me. Do you think your friend has abandoned you? No. No. I think somebody made him leave. Actually, no, because he told me. Let's go check out. Look, it's the Yuki. It's so cute. Siberia's white gold. Uh, mammoth ivory. A Siberia comet. Numerous calls relating sightings of an ovoid shaped object gliding over our lands. Unable to speculate as to the nature. We probably know what that is. If you've played Siberia 1 or you've watched a video of Siberia 1, then you could guess that this is actually the rocket we sent off in the first game. And here, sadly, is the announcement of uh, Helena Romanski's death. Certainly shall not. Why did they die? Um, but anyway, we could guess that that is why um, Ivan, Ivan and Igor, Ivan and Igor were um, interested in our journey because they heard about uh, you know going to Siberia, meeting the mammoths. Well, he doesn't look too smart, but still, he's kind of cute. He's come back to where he's happiest. Whatever. This place is deserted. Come with me. I've got a job for you. Well, you're the only one here that likes these candies. So then, you're a Yuki. Now, let's see if you want to follow me. My new best friend. Anything new to her, but bye bye. I think he likes fish. Yeah. I think you were right, Malka. Ever since I gave him those fish candies, he won't let me out of his sight. Yuck! That's gross! Only Yuki's like that kind of junk. Hmm. I guess you could have just not known what to do with the dog who is described as liking fish a lot. And, uh, Stumble back to Malka, ask her like, "Oh, I want the Yuki to follow me, but it won't. What should I do? Well, give it the fish candy." But it's not too hard to figure that out by yourself. It's a shame they didn't change the dialogue for situations where you bypassed certain parts of the quest. Let's enslave it now. Hey, Yuki, come back here.
like it would have been a smarter move if they just uh, kept up a little bit of their speed so the bridge collapsed behind them. Um, no I use. won't be using the cart anymore. No, I won't. Uh, where can we go this way? Ha <laughs> ha, Kate Walker. The ivory's ours. You blubbery belly hog. Don't come this way. Can't you see you're too heavy? Indeed. All right. Uh, so we need to find a way across. Let's start looking. Uh, this bird looks like um, the Harfang bird that was described in the book. The one that is uh, that accompanies the shaman. I have to melt this ice. So the fish. Again, I do think the backgrounds are beautiful. Beaver. That dog does exactly as it pleases. Oh, I chased away the beaver. That is why I need the fish, so I can lure the Yuki away from the beaver and the continues. Got here. Hey, there's some kind of house at the bottom of the falls. Hey, I mm, can't go there at all. But I need to find because I still have my box of matches. I didn't throw those away. Did throw away the shears, apparently. Um, so all we really need is some. Uh, Something to burn. Down, boy! You're scaring the poor beaver. Yep, that won't work. And here it is. Um, so we just really need to find some twigs or you know, something like that that we can set on fire. If only we had kept the newspaper as well. But I guess that would have made this part a little too easy. Or the shears. Let's say we're severely underpacked for this trip. This, uh, trip. Also, it must have been so cold on that uh, little machine without protection. <coughs> yeah. Maybe I looked wrong, maybe we don't need twigs. Maybe they were already there. Yeah. I don't know. Let's take a look. Just <laughs> going all over the screen, just in case I missed something. Nope. Closer look. Maybe I uh, don't need twigs. Maybe there's something there already. Nope, I do need something. Mm. 
Did I see something? No. It's annoying. This is a forest. How hard can it be to find some twigs? Apparently pretty hard. There's tons of tweets. Mm. Okay, let's go back to the rookies. Mm. If I just break off a couple branches now. That's nothing. So this, this one. Ah, of course. Such a big forest and so little dry wood. <laughs> At least, uh, yeah. I agree. Let's get back and set fire to that fish. Mm, barbecue. Smoked fish. Matches. Matches. Then just throw my whole <laughs> box on there. go. wonder if this is like a sort of sacrificial thing. Seems like a really weird thing otherwise, like stacked stones and a fish. Little altar. Now all the way back. That dog really needs a leash. <laughs> Look at that. We're cross now. <coughs> I'd probably just crawl over it on my hands and feet. <laughs> Good dog. Let's go check out that little house we saw. Three thirty. What the hell is he doing out there? Ah, Canton. Where have you been? I've got better things to do than wait for phone calls. I'm in the boonies, Mr. Martin. But things are looking good. I've got good reason to believe that Kate Walker is right here in this village, or at least in the immediate vicinity. Find her, Canton. Bring her back. Whatever you have to do. But bring her back here, understand? Your money's on me, Martin. Uh, oh, no, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Broken bridge. I can't reach the branch. Mm -hmm. That's the house. Okay. Let's 
go back and check what that other path led to. Going to a train. Wolf. That's a bit. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. Interesting. Guess not. It's just a uh, wolf watching. Right, let's go check out the house. See if we can find something to help us cross that other bridge. Hello? Kate! Katie Munchkin, it's your mother. Mother! Oh, I've been worried to Valium Munchkin. When are you going to stop this gallivanting? You know your boss is looking everywhere for you. I'm not coming home, Mom. Katie, this isn't what you set out to do in life. You know that. Things change, Mom. Things have changed. Oh, my Lord. Katie, have you gone completely mad? Maybe. I'm not sure. My God, Kate. Bye, Mom. All right, just making sure our mom is still alive. Also, I think she erased Dan and Olivia's phone numbers from her phone, which, yeah, <laughs> which I can understand considering what happened in the first game. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, let's see what's in here. 